This is Nicole Greenwood at Buzzine.com sneaking onto the red carpet so I can touch the poster of Iron Man 2, the premiere. Every single person who is anybody is here tonight. And I can't wait for you to meet him. Kind of up the stakes a little bit, I guess. I mean, you know, we take our uh, work seriously. We certainly don't take ourselves all that seriously, and, and I believe that's why people have responded to this kind of movie making. Well, they always want to uh, tone me down and be a bit more classic. I think I took Tony in a bit more of a me direction this time, but um, you know, I, I think he's kind of iconic and he's. Um, He's, uh, he's a little bit retro and all that. It feels actually very similar to the first time, only this time Pepper gets a big promotion, so that's a little bit of a different dynamic for them. But uh, I think at the heart of it, you know, they still have that, a lot of chemistry and a lot of, you know, a lot of connection. I really had to consider it because if, if it is multiple movies, you know, you're kind of putting your stamp on something and you have to feel comfortable with that. So. You know, I had to think about it and discuss it with my family and, and really go, okay, do I want to be doing War Machine when I'm 60? <laughs> you know? Did you ever really have reservations? Or just yes, I did. Yes, I did have reservations, yeah. What changed your mind? They uh, agreed to do everything I said. No. Really? They, they, <laughs> they wanted a character. They, I, they wanted a, a, a bad man that had some layers and levels and wasn't just one dimensional. Was it fun playing the bad guy? It was fun. I had a good time. I was surrounded by really good people. I had a really good uh, writer who was doing rewrites on the spot that was improving the character on a daily basis all the way to the very end. Are you trying to make your character very true to the original comics? You kind of create your own Oh, uh, the original guy was white. Well, yes. <laughs> Personality wise. David Hasselhoff played him. Uh, and when they, when they reinvented him, I looked in the comic book and that was my face. And I went, oh, wait a minute. When this happened? Who, who asked me about this? And my agent said, don't worry. Then. They want you to do the movie. It's like, cool. So. Well, Agent Coulson, to those people who saw the first one, is the gentleman who seems kind of just like a bureaucrat who needs an interview, but uh, turns out to work for S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, in this movie, you get to find out an awful lot more about who S.H.I.E.L.D. is and, and what they mean to Iron Man and perhaps to some of the other superheroes who might be showing up soon. Each film has its own challenges. I like the challenges of the sequel more because I know people are going to check it out, and now it's our job to put together a great movie so that it lives up to people's expectations. Now, in the actual comic, your character marries Pepper Potts. So was really that the whole big plan so you could one day make out with Pepper Potts? Yeah, yeah we're working up to the the um, the, the culmination of, of, of the series, which would be the marriage of, of Happy Hogan and, and Pepper Potts. Marvel doesn't know that yet, but that's <laughs> that's what I've been working to. Well, I hope you enjoyed the coverage of not only the most talented, but also some of the nicest actors you've ever met in your entire life. So make sure you are there, May 7th, Iron Man 2. Buzzing.com. We'll be there.